<laughs> You're listening to Business Podcasting Made Easy, the influencer's formula, where you get a roadmap to instant authority and thought leadership with a podcast that you're proud of on the IBGR radio network. This is episode number 48. And today we are talking about marketing and paid advertising for your podcast. I'm Donna Cundy, co-founder of the IBGR Network, Global Radio Authority, podcast expert, producer of almost 14,000 podcasts, and I'm sharing all of that wisdom that I've gotten <laughs> in producing 14,000 podcasts. And I am grateful to be receiving that wisdom, Donna, <laughs> much, <laughs> because thanks to you and, and IBGR, I'm also an international radio show host and podcast host, and my name, if we haven't met before, is Ben Joya. I'm a three-time international best-selling author with teachings that reach more than 50,000 people worldwide. And Donna and I are here to help you get your podcast done just 13 minutes at a time in just 13 weeks. So remember, you can easily follow the plan at influencersformula.com. And when you want direct live support from us for your business podcast, and contact us today at ibgr.info. That's ibgr.info. And our friend Henry Ford from Beyond the Grave, right? Henry shared with us, stopping advertising to save money is like stopping your watch to save time. Welcome hmm. to the show. <laughs> yeah, great quote. Stopping advertising to save money. Th this one is all about paid. We want you to become a person worth listening to by investing in marketing and or advertising. It's, it's not a waste of money because you know your audience. And up until now, Ben, we've been telling listeners how to grow organically. The only money that we've really talked about investing in is if you are doing the book and, and you've got some publishing, uh, but everything around podcasting right now, aside from the equipment, you might have a microphone, has been all organic. This episode is about a marketing budget for your podcast, because at some point you're going to have so much clarity on your audience and where to find them and how to get them that you will be ready to invest. And now is the time to invest in something that's going to bring a fantastic return. And what, what people don't know, Ben, is that many of the platforms that you've been using, uh, the, I bring up like Spotify, I bring up the uh, iTunes, I bring up the, the places to listen to podcasts. Many of those also offer paid advertising. And also there's some places that host your podcast. So we're looking at, right now we're, we're on podcast.co, but we're looking at moving our podcast to another platform that offers a way for us to do paid advertising. Mm -hmm. Two different things happening here in two different places that you can do that. Um, don't, don't worry about, don't worry about any of this. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about figuring it out. It's totally worth it because you're going to see uh, in your research, you've done the research. Now it's time to kind of turbocharge it. <laughs> if you will. Absolutely. Yeah. And I want to underscore something you said, Donna. I mean, this applies to podcasts, of course, and this applies across the board, knowing your audience You've heard us saying this over and over again throughout the episodes, right? Throughout our almost 13 weeks together now, right? Know your audience because you know your audience from de dealing with them directly, engaging them, serving them, and also understanding what episodes of your show they're downloading, right? That is 95% you know, of the game right there, right? I mean, one of the biggest mistakes that I made many, many years ago when I was a a green and, you know, stupid entrepreneur. <laughs> and I, I say that with love, right? <laughs> you know, investing a significant amount of money on, at that time, Facebook ads and somebody to run them. And I had not proven, you know, proven my offer yet, right? And I invested about $10,000 on all of that and got about zero sales. Not about exactly zero sales, <laughs> Right. So what we are telling you to do here, if you're following the influencers formula, right, and taking a step back and just going, oh, that makes sense, right, is just reminding you when you know your audience, everything else is so much easier, so much faster, so much less effort, so much less friction, so much more sleep, so much less stress, <laughs> so much less anxiety, and so much more joy in serving the people that you want to serve. Yeah, thank you for saying that. I, I want to point out too, because as I work with podcasters, 
and radio show hosts, and they're, they're doing this work to find the listenership. One of the things that I asked them to do is to go look in the mirror. Because most likely your ideal listener looks, sounds, acts just like you. <laughs> they're going to connect with you as a person. Uh, and, and, and I love that you gave that example. I'm sorry that it was $10,000 and zero return on that. But I love that you gave that Facebook example. There are really good marketers out there that can help. But you have to get really clear on who you are first so that you stay on your own path. There's a saying that if you, if you are on your journey and you go into the woods on a, on a path that's already there, you're on the wrong path. You're on somebody else's path. And you want to go on your own path into the woods to, to clear your own way for your own people to build your own tribe. You don't want anybody else's tribe. Look in the mirror. That's who your people are. <laughs> yep. Yep. And, and I would, I would say at the same time, Don, I think that's great advice and, you know, be discerning in that, you know, although you're making your own path, right? Like, wear the shoes that are the right shoes to wear, right? Have yes. the gear, if I can keep extending this analogy, because yes, you want to make your own path, but don't make your own path, you know, wearing socks or flip-flops, you know, as you're trying to climb over the mountain. How, how mm -hmm. far can I take this analogy, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, we could go forever and ever and ever, but, but you know, it, it, and there, there might be a path next to you, if we're going to continue on the analogy, it, you, there might be a path next to you that you can see which could be the mentor ahead of you. Mm -hmm. So it's good to get the wisdom from those ahead of you, like, like us, like we're trying to, to impart the, the, what, what we've done that has worked. So exactly. your path might be right next to us, but don't go on our exact path because it's not going to be your path. They're, they're your tribe. Exactly, exactly. And my other caveat for looking in the mirror, right, is remember that your tribe is probably a lot like you and they're not exactly like you. Mm. Right. So you still need to talk to them. You still need to pay attention. You still need to ask. And you have to be careful about the expert syndrome. I think we talked about that quite a few right. episodes ago. Right. Like you have brilliant stuff that you're offering. You're an expert in your stuff. You serve so many people. But in doing so, you can become blind to what people need right now and how they need it and how they want it. So, yes, look in the mirror and then double check your podcast downloads. <laughs> <laughs> beautifully said right and if you haven't done so if you're joining us for the first time today welcome uh be sure to subscribe to the show at influencersformula.com and of course if you would like direct help from us right uh follow our path but don't exactly follow our path we'll show you how to do that uh go to ibgr.info and set up a call with donna and we will help bring help you bring your business podcast to life uh in as little as 13 weeks Yes. And, and so what we're asking you to do for this one to get it into your, your own toolbox is to do your homework, create a listener account on several different podcast platforms and get that experience of what it's like to be a listener and see those ads pop up because sometimes those pop up little sidebar ads things, which is what we're asking you to do here is to create one of those that pops up that says, Hey, here's another one you might be interested in. See what resonates with you. And what, what kind of turns you off and makes you go like, ah, no, I don't like that one. Uh, do it as a listener first. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to do it before you start spending money. And then look into the advertising offers. Choose the best one. A lot of them will allow you to hashtag uh, your, your offer, your, your ad out there, or you will just kind of pick a category. So it's easy to say, well, this is a business podcast, but is there another category that might show up for that because what they do on these platforms is they charge, some of them charge differently. If it's a very popular one, you're going to pay more, uh, obviously, but you'll be in front of the people that you want to be in. But is there another audience? Uh, so for us, for example, we would be under business, obviously, but we might also put it under education because we're teaching something, we're, we're giving transformation, we're giving a, 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 a roadmap to change. So we could easily put it under education too, and maybe that wouldn't cost as much. Right, yep, thank you for saying that. Yeah, there could be entrepreneurship. I mean, I, I don't know the categories myself because I haven't done this, but this was something that I, you know, that we do for, for book authors to help them 
become bestsellers is, you know, look at the categories that are, you know, what we like to say, high visibility, mm -hmm. right, and low competition, right, because your, your book, your podcast, your message can be accessed under different umbrellas, if you will, from different people. So it's not just business. Yeah. Right? Remember that as you're taking your looks. And the beauty of this type of paid advertising on a podcast platform versus what you had talked about with Facebook or a Google ad or one of those other ads is that you are putting your, your money in front of people who are podcast listeners. If you do Facebook and you have your ideal listener, they might not listen to podcasts. So you're still kind of wasting money in a sense. You're, you want to get as specific as you can on a platform where they're already listening. And you're just saying, hey, here I am. Listen to me too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. F fishing in the pond, right? Like fish in the same pond. Don't fish exactly where everybody else is fishing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So all we're asking you to do with this one, all we're asking is to create your paid ad for your podcast. Think about a budget. How much money do you want to invest in it? Go small first to test it out. And then when you get some traction, then you can add more to it, but go ahead and create a, a paid podcast after you've done your listener, after listenership, after you, listenership, listening, <laughs> after you've done your research, uh, take that first step, take a deep breath, put a little money in there and see what kind of results you get. And then just keep, uh, keep adjusting, keep looking at the data and keep adjusting until you find the right metric that works for you, the right, uh, the right way to do it. Yeah, that's it right there. And we are in the home stretch, mm -hmm. not only of this week, but of this 13 week journey together. We're not quite there yet, but we're really close. So remember to subscribe to the show at influencersformula.com. Reach out to Donna and me at ibgr.info for direct support from us and get your podcast moving if you haven't done so. And if you're already doing it, great job. And we're so glad to share this journey with you. Uh, Donna, anything else for our friends before we go? I think just a quick wrap up. This, this, is, this is the advanced next level strategies and in investing. There were four parts to this. As always, every week, we did episode 45, when to get behind the mic again. We did episode 46, syndicating. Episode 47, producing a commercial. Episode 48, this one, marketing and paid advertising. We're going to sign off now, uh, episode 48, the marketing and paid advertising for your podcast, business podcasting made easier, the influencers formula. I'm Donna Cundy. And I'm Ben Joya. Thank you so much for listening.